Hey everyone, it's Mari. Kelly Barron and I are back this week with another challenge for you. And the challenge this week is to create a layout that's a bit of a year in review kind of a layout, looking back at 2017 and thinking about some of the highlights. And so I'm going to be highlighting a couple of photos here, a couple of memories, just some kind of a summary of some things that happened in the lives of our kids this year. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of mixed media on my layout as well today. So I started off with a piece of really heavy white cardstock. This is a basil uh, double thickness cardstock and it takes the mixed media pretty well. You don't really have to use any gesso on it if you're not going to really be too heavy with the with the liquid and I'm going to just use some vibes and some Heidi Swap color shine here and the packaging technique to create some color in my background. That first color is um, a Shimmers Vibes and I'm just looking at the color here. I think it's called Sweetheart. Yes, it is Sweetheart. And now I'm going in with some Vibes Jenny B Blue and I'm just putting that down here roughly in the area where I think I'm going to be putting my photographs but you'll see as this process continues that I end up adding more and more mixed media here as I go along. So this is some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Butter and I don't know if you can really see that on the video but the shimmer and shine to these different um, mists are really really pretty on the background they just add just a really nice kind of subtle little bit of extra luster in the background and it just looks really pretty i like it now i'm just going to take some of that jenny b blue and i'm going to add some splatters i add some, added some splatters of pink as well so i'm just splattering splattering a little bit with all of these different colors and um, then I am going to grab those photographs that I'm going to be using and I will place those kind of roughly in the area where I think I'm going to be placing the photos and I'll see that you know I haven't even scratched the surface of being uh, having a large enough area here of color so I'll just continue to add that this is just some Heidi Swap color shine in gold which is so gorgeous always to add to a little bit of your mixed media so I'll just have a little bit of gold going on here and I'm going to be using Paige Evans Turn the Page collection from Pink Paisley. I have quite a bit of that collection and I haven't used a ton of it and I just thought that the the different um, things that are in that collection really fit the theme of this layout which is change and how things are have uh, really you know gone in different directions for our kids this year and I thought that uh, there were a few pieces that worked really well and I just really love the colors always in Paige's uh, collections. I think they're gorgeous and so I wanted to use that collection here with my layout today. So you can see that I, photo I printed those photos um, kind of like they're Polaroids. So I printed them on regular four by six photo paper but the photos themselves are only I think three by three so uh, what I did was I trimmed off the top and then I left that little piece uh, on the bottom that white piece on the bottom below the photographs and then what I did was I just measured that area and I went in and I created a text box in Microsoft Word and I just did my journaling there and added that to the bottom of those Polaroid type pictures so my journaling's all finished on those photos already which I like having that done so you can see that I'm just continuing to add more of that mixed media here, just dabbing up the excess moisture just so that it uh, dries a little bit more quickly. And it is going to, these um, different mists are going to warp the paper a little bit, but um, I do find that the, that heavier cardstock does really help that um, absorb the water there a little bit. And, and it does, uh, you know, eliminate some of the warping that might occur if you're using just like a patterned paper or a thinner cardstock. So now I'm going to take one of the 6x6 papers from that Turn the Page collection and I'm going to back my both of my photos with this same paper. Just going to leave a little bit of a border around three of the edges and then the bottom edge I'm just going to tear it just to give it a little more texture. I think that looks really neat with that mixed media background. Um, it's just meant to sort of look messy and interesting. I think it just creates more visual interest in that way and I just thought that um, I would add that just for that extra little pizzazz. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing to both of my photographs here and you'll just see me finishing that up here with this second photo. 
So I'm going to have the picture of Jordan and Paul on the left side and Bailey and Brady are going to be on the right and just journaling here about how they've both got, had so many big changes in their lives in this last year, like big major changes, not just like, oh, you know, um, I bought a new dress. <laughs> I'm going to bug Jordan about that one. He did not buy a new dress. Um, but he did move to a new city and he went back to school and they went on a big trip to Europe and Paul finished medical school and they got a cat. <laughs> That's more major than buying a new dress. And Bailey got it and Brady got engaged and they bought a house and she started a new job and she bought a car and they're planning a wedding and like a lot of really big things are going on in these kids' lives. So uh, just journaling about that and how those were sort of like their highlights of 2017, their big moments. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some of the Dazzlers and I'm going to use Gummy Bear Blue, which is this, uh, the really bright blue that I'll use here, Lemon Drop, which is the one that I'm using now. Um, I'm on, and I'm also going to use Pucker Up Pink and... I'm going to use C in the morning as well. So I'm going to use four dazzlers on here. I'm using a Tim Holtz stencil that's just circles and I'm going to use the matching texture paste over, over top of the different areas where I've used those different mists. And you can see that I added a little bit of a kind of a teal color in the bottom right side there and that is some uh, Heidi Swap color shine in Mint to Be. And then that's where I use the C in the morning dazzlers over top of that. So now I've just printed, or I should say I have used a cut file from the Silhouette Design Store. And this is called New Year's Numbers, I believe. And I just, uh, I cut 2017 that you can, that cut file includes just the numbers from um, zero to nine, obviously. And I just cut these numbers for the year 2017. And I'm going to back each one of those different numbers in that same floral pattern paper from the six by six pad that I backed those two photographs with. So my photo mat is going to match the pattern paper that backs these numbers. And all I did was put a little bit of liquid adhesive on the perimeter of those numbers and then glued the pattern paper to the back and then trimmed around the edge of it. Really, really simple. I'm going to uh, just adhere down those photographs now and I'm going to adhere the numbers to the layout with some foam adhesive just to add some dimension to the numbers and bring them up off of the layout a little bit. I just think it looks a little more interesting and so you'll just see me. In fact, you won't see me because for some reason I'm doing this like at the bottom of the layout where... I didn't have my, my layout pushed up high enough, so sorry about that. I'm working off camera here a little bit, but honestly, all I'm doing is just adding some foam adhesive to those numbers, and I'm going to get those stuck down. Now, choosing your adhesive is really important, choosing the right adhesive when you're going over top of mixed media like this, so um, you will see me adding some liquid adhesive to the back of those photographs once I've added a little bit of craft foam to the back of them to bring them up off the layout a little bit. So I'm just going to take some of this foam, this craft foam. I'll adhere it to the back of the photos, just using a little bit of a tape runner. And then I'll use some liquid adhesive on the craft foam to stick it down so that it's really going to stick well to the, the um, dazzlers and the um, just the mist that's on the back there on the vibes and the color shine. So I'm going to get those stuck down. And I'm liking how this is looking so far. I mean, when you use mixed media, it's always a little bit of a, hmm, how's this going to turn out? I'm not sure if I'm going to love it. I kind of almost feel like those different, four different colors kind of look like the petals of a flower or something like that. Now that they're on there, it's, I'm happy with how they look. And I, I love that, just the little bits of color and texture that are poking out from behind the photographs. I think that looks neat. I think it's interesting and I love the colors and that all of the colors I've used match up with the colors in the turn the page um, collection. Now that large chipboard word magical of course is from Dear Lizzie Stargazer and I have only used one of those other words from those chipboard words. I have not chosen to put any kind of medium on the word on that chipboard word because I just really like the white. I like the white on white and the word year is in those um, colored 
uh, chipboard thickers there. So I, and then of course there's some color in the numbers. So I, I just really liked how that magical is white and I was okay with that. I could have used some spray on it. I could have used, you know, some texture paste that's colored or whatever. There's lots of other things I could have done, but I just liked how it's white there. Now I fussy cut these little um, phrase bubbles out of a uh, six by six pad paper from the six by six pad. The one on the right says, trust the magic of beginnings. And the one on the left says, um, trust the timing of your life and I just that thought that those were both really perfect for what was happening with the journaling and what I am talking about here in for this layout and for these photographs and what I'm documenting and the theme this week for our challenge which is um, you know looking back and kind of a review of what happened in the year I'm just taking some of the puffy stickers from the puffy sticker sheet. I'm focusing on just taking those little floral pieces and kind of adding them like confetti around the layout just as a little bit of an embellishment. And that is going to be just about it. I think I add a little tab to the left of the left photograph that says happy on it. And that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this process. Make sure that you check out the link in the description box below to Kelly's channel and hop on over and see what she did with her um, review layout for 2017. And have a happy, happy new year. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much, guys, for stopping by. Bye-bye.